Good morning guys. Welcome to Am I Trucking Life? Is it 144 now? I'm not sure, sorry. It's Monday the 3rd of April, 10 past 5 in the morning. And you're looking at what we're going to be taking down to Basingstoke. I wasn't happy when they put those uh, beams along the side of the trailer like that. And looking, my fears have uh, come true and they have slid inwards a tiny bit when I've strapped them in, but they're not going to be going anywhere at all. There's three strap, uh, no, there's four straps holding them on there along the side. Uh, there's nothing else behind them, it's just that big mass of timber that we're taking. <coughs> taking floor packs and those beams along the side down to Basingstoke. It's, uh, yeah, I'll give myself three hours to do it, which allows a little bit of spare time for when we get stuck around the 8.34 perhaps. But by the time we get down there, I don't think it'll be getting busy by then. I want to say how overwhelmed I am by the massive influx of um, subscribers I've had lately. It's really, it's really awesome to see more people coming in and checking my stuff out. Let's just hook up to this one. Turn the glare, I'll turn the screen dimming down on the front of the dashboard and I want to turn it back. <coughs> okay, now we're hooked up. I uh, just want to quickly read out the notifications that I've had up until now. YouTube's pulled its finger out, I tell you. Right, in order of email. <laughs> A.A. Quian or A.A. Quian, Daryl Parker, Chris Bostock, Paul LFC88, Mr. A, Billy Dunn, Gavin Clerkin, Alex Mack, Danny Norwich, Eisenbard Chiselwit, what a name that is, I like it, uh, Rail Sim Cabroids, Peter Mangan, Oddities, Nigel Andrews, Mark Furness, and frankly, Frankie Boy 140. You're all the latest subscribers that I want to welcome, and YouTube's told me about you. Uh, well, Brandon McKenzie, you commented, you've been with me for a while, I want to welcome you. Um, they're the names that stick out to me. I think I said I'd mention someone else in the comments, but. I'll have to go back through them later on. So, uh, anyway, let's get up top and get on the road. Right then, let's get up top. First things first, get that dog clip on. I need to wash Cinderella this week, as soon as I can, I need to get her on the truck wash and sort her out. <coughs> right, now this is an older trailer, so there's no uh, ABS on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry if the lighting isn't very well. I've got my head torch on as well to try and help it out. <clears throat> right. Another bad thing about the load is that the top, the very top, is all 
chipboard and I need to pull it forward a touch <coughs> The very top of the load is all chipboard, so as you, as you, as I'm tightening the strap as tight as I can, it's still loosening off because of the nature of chipboard. So I've got it. I've been bollocking it as tight as I could, but it's going to eventually split if I'm not careful. This one goes across the front for my protection. If you're wondering why they're loose, it's just because I, I didn't retension them on Friday when I brought the load back. And the good thing is I've already checked all the tyres over, so I just need to recheck them. I need to throw these off. I'm fed up of carrying these timbers around. I've had them with me since um, last Thursday. <coughs> last Thursday I've had them on me. And I don't want to carry him around anymore. Because they're an annoyance. I strapped him as tight as I could and this one still came loose. Anyway, I'm going to get doing this and then we'll get gone. So, see you in a bit. Right then guys, as long as you're sitting comfortably, I will begin. Let's go. 130 miles. 130. I gave myself three overs anyway. Oh dear, my coffee's gone cold. So I hope you all had a great weekend. My weekend was fantastic. My son's getting over the chicken pox now so we can go out the house. And God, it meant so much. <laughs> oh dear. Went to some local parks and that yesterday after we'd done our weekly shop. And a whale of a time. Tell me what you guys got up to. Anything special? I uh, just want to reiterate the fact that I'm going to um, Truck Fest this year in Peterborough and yeah, me and my family are going to be attending on the Sunday so anyone anyone who uh, sees me there wants to hop over and say hello then by all means do so oh, that'll tickle the bones in the morning I don't know why he didn't just turn the corner he had plenty of space to do so, but he decided to stop in the worst possible part of the bend, making it harder for me. So yes, we're going to be going down there. We've also got a Facebook page if anyone wants to like it. I do some updates during the day occasionally, and I post all the vlogs to the page as well. Oh yeah. Right, I've been waffling on for far too long. What is that woman doing at this time of the morning? <laughs> she looked ever so suspicious. <clears throat> Let's catch you in a bit, guys. That's been far too much of an introduction for you all. Speak to you in a bit. Just wanted to let you know the progress regarding the 200 subscriber special video. I've uh, looked at your thoughts and your comments and stuff and um, I won't be getting my beard shaved Glenn thank you very much <laughs> nice suggestion though uh, what I'm kind of thinking is merging a few of you suggested to do a longer video um, now I'm not a really big fan of putting out 
massively long videos. My longest one so far has probably been my Control Freaks one of about 45 minutes. Um, it hasn't done as well as I would have hoped. It's more aimed at newer drivers as well, but um, not to worry. I'm thinking about doing like a, a recap kind of video uh, just from home with my webcam and the screen capture software that I've got. Uh, I'm thinking of just going through some of my previous videos leading up until now just picking out a few highlights, a few things that I want to bring to your attention if you haven't watched all my videos so far, uh, a few of my best bits that I feel are my best bits, um, just anything in general, you know, looking back at how I used to record videos when I first started to how I record them now, um, just going through generally like that. Um, let me know whether you think that's a good idea or not guys, it's just one of the things I'm kind of thinking to, to bring to you as a way of celebrating 200 subscribers. Alright well, guys we're at Cherwell Valley, Cherwell Valley Services, I need the toilet, so I'm going to stop now. Retighten my straps and then whack it on brake. Even though I did him when I left the yard, because like I've said about it being chipboard, it's bouncing a bit more on that top part. And you can't... Uh, I'm tightening them as much as I can, but I'm also worried about breaking the fucking stuff, but it's not my fault they put them on the top. So, if it breaks, it breaks. I'd, I wasn't there when they loaded the trailer. Had I been, I'd have put them right and got it properly on. But even though we tightened them up as we left the yard, they're still, still got loose. Oh dear. Oh guys, by the way, for my 200 subscriber video, I've decided to treat myself. And the way I'm treating myself is by quitting smoking. So I'm going to be sharing my journey as I've quit smoking as of today. I've had one this morning on the way to work and I'm not buying any more. Because one, I can't afford to do it and two, it's killing me. <laughs> so what better, do I need a better reason other than that? Uh, not really. As much as I enjoy smoking, oh it's gone. Fuck. Well, that's that done. It's snapped on the top, but hopefully it doesn't snap too bad. God. These beams are shocking. Just make sure they're not rocking. I don't think they can rock. No, they can't go anywhere. Sorted. All good. Right, time to whack it on brake and go to the toilet. Catch you in a bit, guys. So, um, it's half past eight now. So we're not going to get there on time. Sorry, guys. What terrible, terrible yawnage there. We're not going to get there on time because of all these delays. I did give myself plenty of time in my opinion. Maybe I should have gave myself longer, but I gave myself enough time to drive 160 odd miles and I've only had to drive 130, did I say? 135 or something? But I am. Um, no, I can't think of any reason to have set out earlier. Yeah, I did stop at the services for 15 minutes. But that was because I needed the toilet. And I needed to retention the straps regardless, so... It's one of them things. 
Can't be on time every time. Right. We made it. We was just just under an hour late. So uh I did phone my boss and let him know. Never mind. Like I said, there's nothing that could have been done about it. And they're just taking the straps off now. But what I normally do, I'll take them off, but leave the front and back ones on because I haven't yet seen the forklift driver. And if he wants me to tip somewhere else, and I've took the straps off, then I'll be in trouble. Also, there's them beams over the other side, so I might try and get in position before I unload. Actually, thinking about it. It's a beautiful day, guys. Right, so, just having me a banana. We got another guy turning up. That's cowboy, that is. Yeah, so we're all tipped now, so I'm just having a quick banana. Getting my first little craving for a cigarette now. But I know, now I've made my mind up, I'm not going to be smoking anymore. And I'm not going to lie to you all either and tell you I haven't had a fag, if I have. You're in this journey with me, guys. So we just got to... 115 miles up back to load some more houses now where they're for nobody knows well guys we've gone and got some more houses we're <coughs> fully strapped up now following my colleague back to the yard uh, we loaded for Basingstoke again tomorrow. And we're going to have to fight our way back through a lot of traffic because up there, the M6 is FCUK'd, apparently. Uh, there's been an accident between Junction 6 and Junction 7, northbound. So, uh we're going to fight the traffic as everyone diverts around it to get back. Right, it seems he's taking us down the 452, which will bring us out towards Brown Hills, and then we can cut through Walsall to go across over Junction 10. That's the way we're going by the looks. So, uh, unfortunately, the convoy has been broke up, but he might pull over for me. I don't know. I know where I am anyway. He looks like, yeah, he's pulled over, so. What a convoy driver he is. Proper partner, eh? <laughs> oh dear. So, it uh, looks like I'm just going to be heading back to the yard now. And then, washing the truck off or getting myself off home one way or the other. I'll be done. So, I'm going to end today's vlog here. And now, I want to thank you all for watching. Welcome to you all again from the start of the video. All my new subscribers, it's great to have you on board. And I shall see you all tomorrow in the next one.